guys, and today I'm going to be doing the Not A Book 2 movie tag. So you guys, it's like really, really, really disgusting outside today. It's raining, it's cold, and I just, I really wanted to do a video today. Since I am going back to work, I feel like I need to, you know, try my hardest to keep up with doing my videos, and I slip back into that weeks without a video kind of thing because I don't have time. So I want to try to make time for this. And hopefully it goes, it fits in perfect. I don't think I'm going to have a problem this week because I only work like two days this week anyway. So, whatever. But, the first question is, how old is your channel? And I don't think, I don't see myself as a booktube newbie. But I also don't see myself as like a real veteran because um, this August, I will be, my channel will be making two years old. So, I've only been on booktube for a year now. But... I don't see that as me being a veteran, but I, I'm not a fresh newbie. I've been here long enough to say I'm not fresh meat. I, I guess you could say that. But come August, my channel will be two years old, and I have definitely seen amazing, stupendous, you know, um, progress from when I first started my channel. <laughs> like, when I first, first started, like, you can definitely see the difference now than what I was doing. But I was really awkward in front of the camera, like, you know, talking to myself. Because it's like I'm literally talking to myself because I'm not talking to anyone here physically, but I'm not talking to myself because I'm talking to you guys. But it, like, it just felt weird, but I'm used to it now than what I, I used to be. So, yeah, my channel's two years old come August. Question number two, what are your favorite videos to make? Um, my favorite videos. I'm not exactly sure. I used to like doing haul videos, but it's been a long time since I did haul videos. I kind of, I kind of got the the book hauling out of my system, which is about to come back with a vengeance, since it had been a while since I had been able to like buy books, buy books. Um, so that's probably going to be coming back. That's probably going to be a video in my near future. It's going to be a haul video. Um, I don't know. I guess I kind of like wrap ups. I kind of really, really like doing my wrap up videos, but I also like doing tag videos too because they're really fun. But I really like doing wrap up videos to get to share with you guys my opinions if I haven't done reviews on the books. I can sit here and tell you guys what I liked, what I didn't like. You know what my rating was, you know what my month was like reading wise over, overall. I like that aspect of it. So I guess I, I guess I can say currently my favorite videos are wrap up videos. Question number three. What is one piece of advice you can give someone who wants to start a booktube channel? Now for this, I don't know if I can just say one piece of advice. And I don't want to repeat, I, I want to try to give advice that you haven't heard in other, you know, not a book two newbie tags, but I guess it's kind of hard. Um, okay, I guess, okay, I guess my first piece of advice would be just to, you know, just to do it, just jump in and do it. Don't sit there and try to, you know, think too deep into about it. Just jump into it and at least you can say you tried it. And you know, if you don't, if it's not after you start doing it, if it's not something that you want to keep up with, that's fine. You know, you can always stop. You don't necessarily, once you start, that's it, you're stuck in it. You can always stop if you don't want to later. But just jump in and, and you know, just try it out and like, give it a test run for maybe a month or two. Give it a test month. Give it a test run, I want to say, for two months. Even if that, that means even if you're posting just a video a week, they give you eight videos that you can, you know, test out and see if you like it. Okay, and if you don't like it, you can always stop. You're not held accountable for where you started. You have to keep going. So just start and, you know, give it a trial run and see if you like it. Don't don't sit here and think about it too much. Just jump in and do it. Um, another piece of advice that I guess I can give is don't worry about your subscriber numbers. Like when you first start, you're probably not going to get off to a big jump automatically with subscribers. And I know a lot of people is discouraging when you've been doing book two for like a month and oh my god, I just had five subscribers. But those five subscribers can, you know, influence other people and tell other people about the channel. Like I really love her videos. So I mean, those five people are just really important people. It doesn't matter. You don't have to have a hundred subscribers by the end of the month. And then if you don't have that, it's oh well, no one's watching my videos. I'm going to quit. You know, don't worry don't focus on your subscriber number because i i promise i've been on booktube for almost two years now and i currently i only have 67 subscribers and i am so grateful for my 67 subscribers like i look at those 67 subscribers and i'm just shocked that i have 67 subscribers anyway at all that i'm reaching out to 67 damn people that like to watch my videos and that like them enough to subscribe and want to keep watching them you know, I'm grateful for my 67 subscribers. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much. But there's other booktubers out there that buy, you know, 
where I am, if they're on their channel is almost two years old, they have a thousand subscribers already, or like five hundred subscribers already. You know, it's, if I focused on it that much, I would feel like I'm not doing a good job and I would quit. But because I don't linger on how many subscribers I am, I have. When I do go and look at it, it's like, damn, when did I get 67 subscribers? Cause I think the last time I really paid attention to it, I had like maybe 40 something. And I just recently like paid attention to it. I'm like, oh my God, I had 67 subscribers. How did that happen? You know? So I'm happy for the 67 subscribers that I have. And if you sit down and you focus too long about, and you're just worried about subscriber number, subscriber number, subscriber number, you're not going to enjoy doing it. You know, you have to enjoy the content that you're putting out and not just, I need to have these many subscribers. I need to get subscribers. I need to get subscribers. That's like if you lived your whole life based on how many like followers you have on Instagram. You have to put out what you love. And you have to enjoy doing it. Why would you hate? That's like, you know, getting in a career that you know you don't want to be in. And you hate going to work every single day. But because it's paying you this much money, you go anyway. You have to do it. You have to, you know, do what you love. You know, so don't worry about your subscriber number. Because then you're going to ultimately be unhappy with your channel. You're going to be unhappy, you know, doing it if you're doing it for the wrong reason. For the wrong reason. Question number four. Since starting book two, have you run into any unforeseen challenges? Um, I want to say yes. Uh, I think like at the very beginning when I first started, um, my computer screen, the com my old computer that I had, the screen broke. It, so I couldn't see anything on the screen, so it was hard for me to edit my videos. I had to like, every time I went to edit, I had to like, hook the HDMI wire up from my computer to the TV and I guess that made it harder because like I did at the time I didn't want people to know I was doing like I didn't want my mom to know I was doing these videos or my brother to know so it's like I would have to wait until like I was at home by myself to do it and that made it longer for me to put my videos up um I think that might be the only unforeseen challenge I've had I wouldn't say it was unforeseen, but it was unforeseen. Um, I gave birth earlier than I thought I was going to, so that did put a hold on my videos. I gave a, I gave birth a week and a half earlier than what I had planned on. So I was planning on, you know, doing a whole bunch of like, you know, pre-recorded videos um, before I, I was supposed to give birth. I, but you know, I ended up going in early, so I, I don't. I guess that's a challenge. I guess, but that's just what I had to go through. Question number five. What is a favorite book or series you've read because of book two? Um, let me see. Let me see. Um, I guess it's a favorite book because I haven't read the whole sh whole series yet. So I can't say the whole series is my favorite. But um, Cinder by Marissa Meyer from the Lunar Chronicles. I don't think I probably would have ever stumbled across it, found it out as early as I did had it not been for book two. Because it was going around a lot. I was like, that sounds really good. Like a whole series of, you know, fairy tale retellings had to try that out um that was really I, I really got that from um book two and and i haven't read the last book yet i did just get the last book in yesterday but the red queen trilogy trilogy i haven't finished it yet but i'm going to say it's my favorite anyway because two out of three books i've loved i haven't read the third one yet so i'm not sure so i'm going to say it's a favorite trilogy and i probably would have never heard of that book had it not been for book two because right before I started my channel, I heard about this book. And I definitely, definitely had to go and pick it up because it sounded really good. And it was really freaking good. So I had to thank Book 2 for that as well. Oh, oh, one more, one more. And that is The Book Thief by Marcus Zuzak. I really love that book so freaking much. I just mentioned that in my Valentine's Day tag. That book, I love that book. Like, I know I wouldn't have probably ever picked it up had it not been for Book 2 because... Like, it wouldn't, I don't think it would have been a book I would have necessarily picked out on my own, at least not as fast. It probably would have just been, you know, just sitting there waiting for me to read it. Like, a while, like a long time. But because of BookTube, I did pick it up, and I did read it, and I read it fast, and it was freaking amazing. So you guys need to go and pick that book up. What you hear is true. That book is truly amazing. It's like a, a beautiful work of art. It really is. You guys should go and, and you know, read it and let me know, like, what y'all thought about it so we can discuss Question number six. Overall, what is your favorite aspect of booktube? Everybody's just really nice and welcoming. Like, I haven't met any, you know, booktubers that have been mean or nasty or just people in the community, even if you're just viewers being, like, mean and nasty to me at all. I haven't met any of those. So, so far, I can say everyone has been just really nice and welcoming and encouraging, you know? So, I guess that is, uh, that's the best aspect of booktube because if you look at other areas of YouTube, and you look at people's comments, people can be really mean and ugly and nasty. And 
I have not experienced that being on booktube at all. I, I haven't experienced that. So I guess that is like the best aspect of booktube. Everybody's just open-minded and, and nice, you know. And I guess a lot of people, have, so far as I've seen, you know, they practice the, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it at all. Because, you know, I don't see any, you know, nasty comments. I haven't. Um, I don't know if anyone has, but I know I haven't. So, personally, I can say BookTube is overall just a really welcoming community. Question number seven. Well, it's not really a question. It's more of a do as I say kind of statement. Want to spread the love? Shout out at least one BookTube newbie. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I know who I want to shout out, but I cannot remember her name like I recently I recently like maybe the past I want to say like two weeks I stumbled across her channel and I also told her I really really liked how she explained and I guess she's really the big reason why I picked up the book um the Underground Railroad from the library because she explained it so freaking good and I'm going to definitely link her channel below and I'm going to like put her name um somewhere on this video, you know, once I go and see because I cannot remember what the name of her channel is automatically. But I like how deeply she explained how she explains like just the overall concept of the book so freaking good. Like I love her video <laughs> so much. I just I like watching her, I like hearing her speak. She has a really good speaking voice and a speaking tone, and she's really good at explaining stuff to you, so it's not like you know, you're picking up a, a, a blind book because somebody just said it's good, go read it. She explains it, like, to the T, how good it is. So I'm going to definitely link her channel and put her name on the screen so you guys can go and freaking check out her channel because I think she deserves a whole lot more followers. She really does. So go and check her out. Question number eight, who do you tag? I probably should prepare, uh, you know, a whole lot better for this video. But I don't know who I want to tag because a lot of booktubers have already done this tag. So I guess I, could, I, guess I just want to tag everyone that's not a booktube newbie but that has... <laughs> that hasn't done this video yet. Is that specific enough? But I also want to tag any booktube newbies that haven't done the newbie tag to do the newbie tag. Because I think that's a good way to introduce people to yourself and to your channel and your reason why you want to do booktube. So, I mean, if I come up with anybody specific that I want to tag, I'll link their channels in the description below. But thank you guys so much for watching my video. I really did enjoy making this video. Um, I love doing tag videos. So that probably is one of my favorite videos to do, but not my top favorite. But I really like doing tag videos. You guys, you know, should let me know any other tag videos going around book two that I can do. Because tag videos are fun to do. And it kind of takes the pressure off of always having to do something like a book review or TV or a wrap up. It's, it's fun. And I have a lot of other tags I want to do that's not necessarily book related that I want to put on here too. So you guys should definitely subscribe to my channel so you can see my tags and see my other videos that I've done. And you know, hear from me. And you guys should definitely like my video because you like my video. I'm just saying. I mean, even if you didn't like my videos, you should still give it a thumbs up. Just, just for effort. You should give me an A for effort. Just saying. So thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you guys later. Bye.